Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will discuss about the vacuum pumps. Vacuum pumps are used to create the vacuum. Uh, suppose if you want to grow something film, if you want to store the samples which you want to, to protect from the uh, oxygen, then we need to actually evacuate those spaces, chambers or the vessels. And for this, we need the vacuum pumps. So there are several types of the vacuum pumps. And we will discuss uh, some main pumps which are commonly used nowadays. And first of them is rotary pump, rotary vein pump. So today we will discuss about the rotary vein pump. And here you can see that this is rotary vein pump. And in this rotary vein pump, we can see that basically you have two units. One unit is this side and left hand side. And the other unit is right hand side. So in this, in the first unit, let's say this is the first unit. And this is the second unit. And in the first unit, we have this uh, connected with the power supply. Inside this, we have motor. And in the second unit, actually, we have all these uh, circuitry, which actually help us to produce the vacuum. Okay. So you have an inlet here, this one. We have an outlet here. Okay, and how this means the when we connect this inlet from the chamber. Uh, so from this inlet, all the gases from the chambers actually goes inside this pump. And then this is pumped out from the outlet. Okay, so let's see actually how it works. So here you see the schematic and this is schematic is for the second unit, uh, which we marked as a second unit. So you can see, uh, first thing uh, we have stator here and then the rotor and rotor of course, name is rotor because it can rotate. Okay. And this is rotated uh, with the help of the motor. And then you can see this is the blade and the blade is also called as a vein. Okay. So that's why uh, the name is rotary vein pump. Okay. So this is basically having the rotor and the vein and then the name is rotary vein pump. And here you can see uh, this blade is actually what is happening. You have the blade, but in the middle, actually you can see a spring. Okay, so this is something like you have two parts. One part is this, other part is this. And these two parts are basically connected with the uh, spring. Okay, so with the spring. So now with the help of the spring, what is the advantage of the spring? Like basically we can change the length. Okay, this can shrink or this can expand as per the need. So a spring is used to change the length of this blade. Okay. Now what happens? And okay, so here in this bottom, we have the pump oil and oil reservoir. And this is inlet from where actually all the gaseous gases from, from the chambers actually go inside this pump. So this is uh, sucked by this pump from the chamber. Suppose you may have this connected with the chamber here. Okay. The chamber where we want to grow the thin pins. And then we have, uh, here you can see we have an exhaust valve and then the exhaust outlet. So whatever gases actually be uh, sucked from the chamber, they will actually go out through okay so now let's see what happens actually you can see that uh, this rotor 
and basically if you see the volume here actually this volume is not same right so in this portion this is very thin and at the bottom actually you see this volume is large and in the this side this volume is very small so and if you see at the top actually this is touching right so this is kind of the sealed and sealed so basically if suppose there is a small gap so you can see here this gap is actually filled by the oil so this is rotor and then this gap is filled by the oil so basically now if we are uh, taking the gases from the chamber so they basically they are isolated so this part and this part actually is isolated because this this is sealed this portion is sealed okay with the help of the oil clear so now let's see how this pump actually create the vacuum <clears throat> so this is done in the multiple stages for example here you can see the four stages so the first stage is induction okay induction what happens in this stage so you can see this is the inlet which is connected to the chamber so all the gases actually they come through this inlet inside the pump okay and now they come here and when this blade actually moves so these gases also moves okay they they are inside this second stage is isolation now you can see now blade is in this position right in this position that means now whatever gases came inside actually they they are separated from this inlet right they are separated from the inlet so you can see all these gases are here okay now again when this uh, uh, blade moves rotator moves so then what happens these gases come to actually this volume right this is space so here you can see in the third so now these gases are moved towards this small volume so all the gases from the large volume now they are coming to the small volume so what happens actually they are compressed they are so large amount but in the small volume so basically we are compressing them and actually uh, putting them in this small volume so now they are compressed and because of the compression the pressure of because you are decreasing the volume right and you know from the ideal gas equation pv is equal to rt right so when you are decreasing the volume the pressure will increase so what will happen the pressure will increase and because of the increase in the pressure actually this outlet will open this valve will open okay because of the pressure and once this valve is open and then rotor rotates so all these gases actually they will come outside of this pump okay so this is how in the four stages actually we are taking the taking the gases from the chamber then isolating from this chamber and then compressing these gases creating the high pressure and that high pressure actually opens this valve and then all these gases come outside okay now why actually this valve we cannot open every time because if we open this every time there may uh, there may be the back flow okay so some air actually can come inside this right so this is uh, working as a valve valves maybe you know uh, in the bicycle actually we we use the valve right so basically the flow is only from the one side okay so here you can see when the pressure is high this valve opens and all the gases are out so this way actually we removed all the gases from the chamber and once the these gases are removed from the chamber actually gases or the particles uh, solid material particles so then basically we create the vacuum okay we the pressure inside the chamber is lower than the atmospheric pressure so we create some partial uh, vacuum not the perfect vacuum okay partial vacuum so in this animation we will see how this works so you can see actually this is rotating and this blue actually are the incoming gases from the chamber and the red one actually going out okay so this is how this this pump is actually uh, taking the gases from the chamber and actually 
pumping in out, pumping it out. Okay. And then so this is how the vacuum is created using the rotary vane pump. So rotary vein pump can create the vacuum of the range of uh, you can see 10 to power minus 3 tor. So you can create the vacuum in this range. And there are many applications of the rotary vein pump. So they are used in the food packaging. So there you see if the there are many foods they are packaged. So to package the food, actually we remove all these uh, gases and create the partial vacuum. So rotary vein pump can be used for this. We use these pumps for the vacuum furnaces where we want to anneal the things or heat the things in absence of the oxygen and other gases. And then in the semiconductor industry, these are highly used. Uh, so if you want to grow the thin film, and for the thin film, it depends actually. If you want to create very high vacuum, then you need the other pump. Okay, you may need the diffusion pump or the turbo molecular pump. And but we use a uh, rotary pump also there to create the low or rough vacuum. So these pumps can be used as a backup pump if you want to create the very high vacuum. So rotary wind pumps are used as a backing pump. Okay, so you can also use these pumps in the medical devices. So there are many applications you can find for these pumps. Uh, 